stay hungry. Hey everybody, this is Bob Cargill. Stay hungry. It was about 27 years ago. I mean, it was almost exactly 27 years ago that I started my own business. I had a good seven years or so running my own business, started it up in the fall of 1990. And when I did, I had very little money, next to no money. I took a big risk. And I remember being out to lunch with a good friend of mine. And I had no money in my pocket. I don't remember having any money. And he was eating a big meal in front of me. It was at a fast food restaurant and he had gotten the works. I mean, he had a lot of food on his plate and he was eating a lot of food. And I had next to nothing. Maybe I had french fries, I can hardly remember. But I do remember feeling ashamed, embarrassed, a little bit frightened, certainly not confident enough to ask him for any money, to ask him to buy me lunch. And for some strange reason, he never offered. I remember sitting through that whole meal, being hungry, number one, and like I say, being embarrassed and ashamed and wondering what he's thinking of me, not having hardly any money in my pocket, certainly not enough to buy lunch. But that, ironically, was one of the biggest, most memorable times in my professional life when I was starting my own business and when I was at the beginning of a seven year run at the helm of my own business. My point is, I was taking a huge risk. I was doing something really big and really good. And in retrospect, I'm really proud of myself. And in retrospect, like I say, that was one of the highlights of my professional career. Having my own business, having the guts to set out on my own. But I was hungry, literally. I took a big chance, no money in the bank account, hardly at all. Not many clients, hardly at all. I had to hustle. I had to scratch and claw. I succeeded for a good number of years. And I learned a lot and I made a lot of great contacts in the industry. I wore many hats. And I won some awards, I gained some recognition, and I became a better professional overall. But that lunch with my good friend when I had no money still is something I think about. It's still in my head. And it's a good thing that's still in my head. And that is, it's important to be hungry. It's important to take risks. It's important to go without because that's when you have even more drive, more desire, more determination. So folks, stay hungry. Even if you do have food on the table, a roof over your head, money in the bank, a good job, a great family. Figuratively speaking, stay hungry. And it's not so bad if you've actually been hungry before, literally, or are hungry right now, literally. Regardless though, it's the thought, and I mean this, the thought that counts, the thought of being hungry, because it will drive you to hustle and succeed and persevere and do more than you've ever done before. Stay hungry. This is Bob Cargill, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, I hope life is treating you well.